Thanks to another viewer question, this question here, I'm going to show you how to fade video. There are two ways to do this. The first way is to use effects, open CapCut, tap the plus sign to start a new CapCut project, and add the clip that you want to work with. In this example, I'm using clips without audio. I'm just going to use this stock clip right here that I found on pixabay.com. You'll notice that it has no audio. Once you've selected your clip and you're sure that it's the right one, tap on Add. What you want to do is tap on the Effects button. Notice when you tap on Effects and then Video Effects, these are all the video effects available in CapCut. Some of them say Pro, so in order to use those, you need a Pro subscription. What you can do is place your cursor in the search field and begin typing the effect that you want to use. I'm going to type Fade In since we're at the beginning of the clip. If CapCut has a fade in effect, which it does, the most relevant results will appear at the top of the effects panel. Just tap on the effect, tap cancel so you can see the check mark. Tap on the check mark, and you'll notice that the screen is now black. That's because this effect fades in from black, or whatever color your background happens to be. That fades in just perfectly. Move to the end of the clip and then move about four frames back. Tap the effects button one more time. And this time you'll see that I'm going to type fade out because I want the clip to fade out. So tap fade out in the search box and choose the effect that appears. I think I accidentally chose the wrong effect here. You'll want to tap on cancel so you can see the check mark after you choose your effect like this. Now tap on the check mark. Notice this effect looks a little bit short. As I play the video, you'll notice that the video does not fade out properly. So this is the wrong effect. Tap on the effects bar one more time. Tap on video effects. And search for the effect type fade out in the search field and select the proper effect. Don't forget to tap on Cancel once you've got the effects to make sure you can see the check mark. Notice that there are two effects here. So if I play this, the effect is not going to work properly. It will fade out, but then fade back in again before the end of the clip. So do one more search. Fade out should be what you're looking for. You can also use the search term fade out to black. And the effect in the upper left hand corner looks like it's the one that will work properly. You can see a preview of the effect on the effects panel. If I play the effect, it fades out, but then fades back in. To fix this, you just need to extend the effect out past the end of the video. Then you can play it one more time, and now it will work properly as expected. The clip finishes playing and then begins to fade out. You might have noticed a small blur as the fade out happened. I'm not sure why this happened, but if you don't want to use effects, you can do this just using the opacity setting on your clips. To do that, delete your effects. Once your clip is selected, like it is now, 
Swipe over and find the setting called Opacity. When you do, tap the icon that says Opacity. Here you can see the Opacity slider. If I take it all the way down, the clip goes from completely visible to a black screen. This is essentially where we want to start. You can see that the clip is still there and you can still see the full clip in the timeline. What you need to do is tap the keyframe icon once you dismiss the opacity slider panel. Move two to four frames in. After you've added your first keyframe, tap opacity once more and bring the opacity setting up to 100. Notice that when you make the change, the second keyframe is automatically added. To fade the clip out, go to the end of the clip and move three to four frames back. Then dismiss the opacity slider if you need to, but tap on the keyframe once more. You need one keyframe that has the opacity set at 100. Once the keyframe appears in the middle of the clip near the end, go to the very end, tap on opacity one more time, and bring the slider down from 100 to 0. When you do, you will see that a fourth and final keyframe has been added. And the screen appears black just like it did at the beginning. Play through your clip, notice that it fades in, plays for a bit, and then fades out. This clip has no audio, but if there was audio, you would hear it even though the opacity was set at zero. Play through your clip one more time, and then feel free to export your video. There, it fades in, plays for a bit, and then fades out once more. Watch this video recommended by YouTube. This playlist contains more tutorials just like this one. Don't forget to tap on the notification bell once you've subscribed so you're notified when I upload a new video. Join me next time.